Rafael Nadal has been called many things, but mere words don't do justice to capture his brand of tennis excellence. Love him or hate him, you simply cannot ignore him. Behind that gladiatorial facade lies an artist, chiseling out the most awe-inspiring moments on a tennis court. Welcome to the Theater of Clay Court Magic, presented by none other than Rafael Rafa Nadal Pereira. In this deep dive video, we will decode and celebrate the phenomenon that is Rafa, unveiling what makes him a tennis genius beyond the muscular veneer. So how does he continue to be the undisputed emperor of clay in his late 30s? What exactly is the source of his superhuman abilities on the court? Why does he seem practically invincible at Roland Garros, having won a mind-bending record of 112 to 3? Well, allow me to clinically break it down for you. Rafa's History and Story Rafael Nadal hails from the picturesque island of Mallorca in Spain. He was born in 1986 to Sebastian Nadal and Ana Maria Pereira in the town of Manacor, Mallorca. Surrounded by the soothing waters of the Mediterranean Sea, Mallorca was the perfect place for young Rafa to sharpen his skills. As a three-year-old, Rafa first stepped on a tennis court under the watchful eyes of his uncle and coach, Tony Nadal. Tony Nadal ran the Manacor Tennis Club and fast recognized his nephew's prodigious talent, and so Rafa spent countless childhood hours honing his craft on the red clay courts of Manacor. He later trained at the Rafa Nadal Academy, which opened in 2016. The academy boasts world-class facilities to shape future champions. Under coach Carla Moya's leadership, the academy trains players in Rafa's unique style of play. When did he start playing tennis? Rafa started playing tennis at just the age of four. He was a natural, quickly picking up a racket that seemed larger than the pint-sized boy. Uncle Tony took Rafa under his wings, teaching him the nuances of tennis. And at eight years old, Rafa won an under-12 regional crown. By 12, he had won the prestigious Nike Junior Tour. It was clear Spain had unearthed a prodigy who would go on to become tennis royalty. Rafa's sensational improvement from age 12 to 16. It's incredible how much Nadal evolved as a player from age 12 to 16. As a 12-year-old, he was already tremendously gifted. He possessed raw athleticism, tiresome intensity, and textbook strokes. But four years later, he was virtually unrecognizable. The teenage Nadal had transformed into a lean machine, stronger, faster, and tactically sharper. He developed weapons of mass destruction, his lefty forehand causing chaos on the ATP Tour. His winner-generating ability improved exponentially, and by 16, he was physically overpowering grown men on the court. Okay, what explains this dramatic ascent to greatness? How did Nadal improve so rapidly during his teenage years? That's where organizations like Tenex come in. Much like how Uncle Tony nurtured Rafa, Tenex strives to unlock hidden potential in young players. Using state-of-the-art facilities and evidence-based coaching methods, Tenex builds champions for the future. Their training techniques fast-track player development, leading to previously unthinkable growth trajectories. Tenex discovered how to dramatically boost performance in short time spans, just like Rafa from age 12 to 16. So if you want your child to scale Nadal-esque heights, Tenex is the place to be. Career Achievements in a sparkling career spanning over 15 years, Rafael Nadal has racked up a staggering 92 ATP singles titles so far. This includes a record 22 Grand Slam titles with 14 French Open titles, the most by any player at a single major. How does he make winning majors look so easy? He has won 36 Masters 1000 Shields, second only to Djokovic's 38. Will Nadal catch up before he retires? Only time will tell. Nadal has also clinched Olympic gold in 2008 and the Davis Cup five times while representing Spain. Overall, his trophy cabinet glitters with 92 singles titles, 63 of them being on clay. Nadal's 81 consecutive wins on clay is the longest single surface win streak in the open era. If that doesn't prove how unstoppable he is on that surface, I don't know what will. 
No one dominates a tournament like Rafa at the Monte Carlo Masters. He has won this prestigious clay court event a record 11 times, including an unbelievable streak of eight straight titles between 2005 to 2012. How's that for total ownership? How's that for total ownership? In fact, Nadal holds the longest winning streak, 46 matches spanning from 2005 to 2013 at the Monte Carlo Masters, the longest at a single tournament in the Open era. Will anyone ever break this record? Highly unlikely. Rafael Nadal's numbers at the French Open and Monte Carlo Masters highlight his clay court brilliance. But how many Grand Slams has Rafa won? With 22 majors, Nadal is just behind Djokovic with 24 titles. But on his beloved clay, his supremacy remains unparalleled. At Roland Garros, Rafa has a 112-3 win-loss record showing his dominance. That's a 97.4% win percentage. Astounding stats. Will anyone ever break Nadal's clay records? I don't think so. Analyzing Rafa's Clay Court Mastery How does Rafa dominate on clay? Let's break down his clay court weapons. Brutal forehand and extreme topspin. Rafa's lefty forehand is his signature shot, a corkscrewing missile that kicks up high off the clay. This heavy topspin wreaks havoc, causing errors or weak returns that Rafa pounces on. Ripped from deep behind baseline, his forehand is instrumental to success on clay. Incredible speed and court coverage. Like a terrier, Rafa relentlessly chases down balls with incredulous speed and agility. His feline-esque movement allows him to scamper across the court and track down apparent winners. His flexibility, reflexes, and anticipation are unmatched. Rafa's defense morphs into offense as he turns desperate retrievals into screaming forehand winners. Strong tactics and point construction. Far from just a ball basher, Rafa crafts ingenious points exploiting opponents' weaknesses. He is intensely focused, processing information and making calculated decisions. Rafa constructs patterns redirecting opponents before unleashing winners. His shot selection, change of direction, spins, and serving precision put rivals constantly on the back foot, outthinking foes as much outgrinding them. And relentless stamina and determination. Rafa's unwavering desire propels him through grueling five-plus-hour matches with superhuman stamina. His rigorous training regimen furnishes him with indefatigable power to outlast younger challengers. Rafa chases down balls until the last point, unbroken mentally and physically. And beyond his brutal hitting, Rafa entertains with his vibrant rituals and ties. What does Rafa love doing on court? The signature nose touch and hair arrangement. Ever noticed how Rafa touches his nose, then tucks his hair behind ears before every serve? This quirky ritual locks him into the point ahead. Empathetic fist pumps. From subtle bursts to violent uppercuts, Rafa's fist pumps electrify crowds. Part passion, part tactics, these roars punctuate big points, sending assurance up his arm and doubts into opponents' minds. Intense self-talk. Love him or find him annoying, Rafa growls positive affirmations and vamos, chants exhorting himself on. He harnesses frustration, channels aggression, and internalizes focus through self-talks, mind and body in harmony. Most famous shots. Rafa's signature shot, the left-handed forehand from hell. Rafa's sizzling forehand down the line is his stock weapon, struck fiercely deep in opponent's court opening angles for follow-up shots. Laser flat or spun heavily, it's the final word in many epic rallies. How does Nadal generate such extreme RPMs on his ballistic stroke? A mystery of physics and physiology. The geometry defying backhand down the line. Just when you think you have Nadal pinned to a corner, he conjures up this magical backhand slicing down the line at impossible cross-court angles. Forcing him wide on his weaker flank often leaves rivals shaking their heads as he carves passing shots from absurd positions. This explosive one-hand backhand is unleashed with almost no backswing, aided by Nadal's rubber joints and spatial genius. The point-saving feather drop shot. 
Another sensational trick in Nadal's bag is the deft drop shot. After a series of heavy topspin missiles, he often surprises rivals by throwing up an underarm scoop. The ball floats gently over the net before landing tantalizingly out of reach. This change of pace is a tactical masterstroke, keeping opponents off balance while showcasing his expansive repertoire. The Slide and Conquer Slide Nadal's trademark sliding retrievals symbolize his speed and agility. He chases impossible balls with athletic grace before skillfully counterattacking to win points in unlikely fashion. It's poetry in motion. Rafael Nadal has several signatures that make him a one-of-a-kind champion, but what truly separates him from the rest? What makes Rafa so special? Ripping shots deep into fifth sets after four hours. Rafa's hunger for victory is unparalleled. His rigorous training manifests in strong legs tirelessly covering the court like a 25-year-old. Nadal's passion, mental strength, and athleticism make him an age-defying champion. But despite GOAT status, Rafa is humble in triumph and graceful in defeat. He respects opponents, organizers, and viewers alike. Tennis ambassadors don't come finer than Rafael Nadal. Gliding to distant balls and yielding dynamic baseline skills, Nadal owns the clay like few can. The king has etched his name into red dirt legend through his movement, ground strokes, and unwavering spirit. Analyzing Rafa Off-Court Rafa boasts legendary mental tenacity nurtured by Uncle Tony, the ability to focus solely on the present, unaffected by past mistakes or future uncertainties. He categorizes points, shaking off setbacks and dialing into the next ball with renewed conviction. This match-deciding fortitude explains epic come-from-behind victories. Rafa's mental strength is the bedrock for success, and we'll discuss that in detail in future videos, so make sure you're subscribed. Staying relatively injury-free by his standards, Rafa at 37 moves with machine-like efficiency, sprinting and sliding to whip wicked topspin. Obsessive training, prevention work, and strict dieting empower his physicality. Tennis glory demands massive personal sacrifice. And has anyone in history trained as relentlessly as Rafa? There's barely any that come to my mind. Rafa also has diverse interests beyond tennis, notably football, golf, poker, and deep-sea fishing to recharge batteries. He also invests time in philanthropic foundations supporting vulnerable children. And of course, Rafa is an ardent Real Madrid fan. We've seen him pull off some amazing tricks with the football too. Nutrition and Injury Prevention – Formula for Longevity To prolong his career, Rafa swears by clean eating and vegetable juices to increase blood oxygenation. He minimizes gluten intake to manage chronic knee tendinitis. Preventive workouts, efficient movement patterns during play, and smart scheduling maintain durability. There are no shortcuts for this champion. As we come to the close of our analysis of Rafael Nadal, the king of clay, I'd like to ask you guys which tennis legend you want me to cover next. Let me know in the comments below. In our next videos, we will decode players like Novak Djokovic and many others, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time.